Have you ever wondered how meteorologists predict the weather? It all starts with a sophisticated collection of weather instruments that gather important data from the atmosphere. Let's explore how these instruments work together to provide accurate weather forecasts in today's video. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will go over the different types of weather instruments used to gather weather data. So, so let's, let's do, do this. this. Our learning targets for today are, I will be able to identify, describe, and explain how various weather instruments are used to gather weather data and make forecasts. In this video, we will go over how thermometers, rain gauges, barometers, wind vanes, and anemometers are used to gather weather data and make forecasts. Let's start off with thermometers. Thermometers are essential for measuring temperature changes. These instruments provide important data on daily highs and lows, which help to predict temperature trends and fluctuations or ups and downs throughout the day. A thermometer is usually made up of a small hollow glass tube. At the bottom of the tube is a bulb which holds a liquid such as alcohol or mercury. When there is an increase in heat, the liquid inside the bulb expands and pushes up into the tube. When there is a decrease in heat, the liquid inside the bulb contracts and drops down in the tube. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what happens inside of a thermometer when the temperature is cooler outside? Number two, what happens inside of a thermometer when the temperature is warmer outside? And number three, how is a thermometer used to gather weather data? Pause the video and take four minutes to write your answers. We know you got this. Now let's move on to rain gauges. A rain gauge measures the amount of rainfall over time. They usually measure rain in millimeters or inches. You can determine the total rainfall by looking at the level of water in the graduated cylinder. For example, if it rained hard all day and you looked at the rain gauge, the level of water might rise to the half inch mark. You can actually transform a soda bottle to collect and indicate rainwater height. Now let's move on to barometers. A barometer measures how much pressure is in the atmosphere. The pressure is often referred to as atmospheric pressure or barometric pressure. The atmosphere is the layers of air wrapped around the earth. The air has a weight and presses against everything it touches as gravity pulls it to earth. You can predict the type of weather that's coming by watching the changes in the pressure on a barometer. Changes in pressure indicate shifts or changes in weather patterns. For example, high pressure in the atmosphere often means clear skies and mild cool weather, while low pressure in the atmosphere usually means rainy weather in upcoming storms. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, how can we use a barometer to gather weather data? Number two, how can we use a barometer to make forecasts or predictions about weather that may be coming in the near future? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your answers. We can't wait to hear all of your brilliant responses. Now let's move on to wind vanes. A wind vane is an instrument that can measure wind direction. Wind is moving air and it pushes on the tail of the wind vane, causing it to turn so that the arrows point in the direction from which the wind is blowing. You can make your own wind vane by first drawing arrows pointing north, south, east, and west on the cardboard base. Second, cut a rectangle and a triangle from construction paper. Third, cut a notch into each end of a straw, then slip the rectangle and triangle into the slits on the straw. Fourth, Place a piece of clay or play-doh in the center of the cardboard and stick the tip of the pencil into the clay or play-doh. Fifth, use a pen to fasten the straw to the top of the eraser. Now place your wind vane outside and watch the arrow move in the wind. Nice! You've just created your very own wind vane. You can now determine if a storm is coming, which direction the wind is blowing, and how fast the wind is blowing by how fast your wind vane is turning. Now let's check out anemometers. Meet the anemometer. An anemometer is an instrument that measures wind speed. It is usually made of several small cups attached to a vertical shaft or tube. This is called a cup anemometer. As wind causes the cups and shaft to turn, the speed of turning can be used to calculate wind speed. 
You can make your own anemometer and place it outside to check if there's any wind. You can also see how fast the wind is blowing by counting how many times it spins in one minute. Check out this video above to see more instructions on how to do so. Now, turn to your teacher and ask, can we please make our own anemometers? Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what data can you gather by using a wind vane? What weather predictions can you make by using a wind vane? Number two, what data can you gather by using an anemometer? What weather predictions can you make by using an anemometer? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your answers. You got this. In summary, from anemometers to thermometers, each wind instrument provides unique data. When we combine or use these instruments together, we get a comprehensive understanding of current weather, upcoming weather, and weather patterns that are common all over the world. By using all of the data gathered from these weather instruments, meteorologists or people that study and predict the weather can improve the accuracy of predicting weather to keep us informed and safe. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with identifying, describing, and explaining how various weather instruments are used to gather weather data and make forecasts by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic devices to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency, record the results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, Click that bell icon and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day. Gambit, see your bet and raise it.